Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Dietrack Tinger Schwartz Tinte. Let's read this can real fast. Schwartz Tinte Collab Stout. So it says brewed and owned by Kalia, but I don't know if that's completely 100% true because in the app, it says kind of something different. That's definitely not the brewery that this is supposed to be. Yeah, in the app it says it's, um, looks like the app says that the Schwartz Tinte is a stout. Martin Seidel, the brewery, the brewer brewed the beer for the first time in 1997. Um, even then, from barley grown in his own fields, he sows, harvests, and above all, roasts the barley himself. Hmm. And a huge Damn. smoker. His brewery is called the Die Tract Tinger Brewery, and it's really, really, really small. It's a real microbrewery, the Farrow House Brewery. So, so it's like super, super tiny, like dude that does this in his backyard kind of thing? Yeah. It says at one point he brewed his ink in the U.S. in the brew house of Evergreen Brewing Company. Uh, of course, he brought the grain with him from his Austrian homeland. Okay, so maybe this is Austrian? I guess so. Now, I'm going to say right now, this doesn't look I, like a stout. <laughs> uh, let's just let's take a nose on this, because we don't know anything else about this except for this weird guy in wherever he's at, in his backyard, with his own smoker, picking his grain and brewing it himself. I mean, I get the maltiness. There's maltiness. There's like this chocolate maltiness, but it's not like chocolatey, like a like a... Like a stout that you'd normally consider to be a stout would have. It's yeah. got this sort of weaker character to it. This is bizarre. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, it, sa it says Schwartz Tinte, which, I mean, black. And that's that's what they say on the app, it's considered black ink. But it looks like a Schwartz beer. Yeah. Or a red ale. Not even color. a Schwartz I mean, beer. This is like a straight amber ale. Yeah, I mean, this really, the color does not do stout yeah. justice, right? Let's dive in and see what this tastes like because I'm really curious. Why does it say stout? That's weirdly deceiving. I thought this was gonna be a dark ass, you know what I mean? Like I was expecting black stout. Yeah. a stout and I was excited for it and now I'm I was disappointed. Too. Damn it, you guys, what is the deal with this pack right now? <laughs> I'm so disappointed right now. Yeah. It's got this like black licorice thing happening and, and this, this deep maltiness, but it's not like a stouty maltiness. It's a more of a red ale maltiness, but without that sort of like red ale character. Right. Right? Yeah. You know, we've been going on about how like, this is totally not a stout. <laughs> it's like a Martzen amber ale slash whatever else yeah. it wants to be. <laughs> but if we actually talk about it based on the beer quality itself, I actually think this is pretty decent. It's actually quite good. So, like, yeah. as, as a beer of any style, mm -hmm. this is, it's, it's kind of delicious. It's got this sort of like licorice-y thing happening, but it's not too much. It's got this base of these like deeply roasted malts um, that aren't too in your face. Like, like a stout would be really deeply malty, like yeah, superbly, yeah. this is not there. But it, it's it's verging on kind of like getting there, you know. You're you're past the point of like pills and malts and stuff like that. But you're not quite at the chocolate malt, no milk malt. We're nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. So it's like right in the middle there, in between. What would you classify this as? A Martin. Yeah, I'd be right there with you. A fest beer. It would be an Oktoberfest Martin beer. Yeah, for sure. Not, a, not fest a fest beer. beer. It wouldn't no. be a fest beer, but a it would definitely be a Martin. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, this is an October-y tasting beer right here. Why you told me it was a stout and this can art, it looks like this is gonna be a, a milk stout or something, right? Like, yeah. this this reminds me of looks like the chocolate. darkest stout available. Actually, this has probably been one of the better beers in the pack so far. Taste-wise. Taste-wise. Yeah, for sure. Although the misrepresentation, I can't, I can't stop talking about that, and I never will because that's, that's messed up. Don't call this a stout. This is not a stout. This is totally an Oktoberfest Martin beer. Don't, yeah, yeah it's not a stout. Anyway, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crappy. Cheers. Cheers.